Hi friends, I'm Ben Cohen from Small House Farm and today we're going to harvest some squash seeds. All right, so we're gonna be harvesting seeds from this Seminole pumpkin here. Now, an important thing to know when you're harvesting seeds from squash is you wanna make sure your fruit is as ripe as possible. This one right here, we actually harvested last September. So it's been in storage for about six months now. That's a good trait that we wanna select for. Uh, we wanna make sure we have good storage fruits, fruits that are gonna last us throughout the winter. So that is a, a trait that we look for when we save our seeds. So this is an ideal specimen right here for harvesting seeds from this nice Seminole pumpkin right here. All right, so let's go ahead and cut it open. All right, so I'm gonna make my first cut right along here to kind of separate the uh, top of the fruit from the bottom portion. It's a tough one, it's been in storage for a while. Gotta give a little bit of force there, right? Now look at that, this top piece, there's nothing in there but delicious flesh, no seeds at all. I really like, really like this style of squash, really delicious, so we're gonna set that aside for later. Now we got the bottom part, this is the cavity where the seeds are at. So we're gonna go ahead and Cut this guy right open like this. Come at it from the other side. Oh, there we go. Mm, look at that. Oh, that's just beautiful, huh? All right, now we got our fruit cut open here. So we're going to time to start scooping the seeds out. So I'm just going to do it by hand. Uh, some folks prefer to use a spoon or a scoop or something like that, but I'm not scared to get dirty. So I'm just going to use my hands here. And we are literally just going to scoop these seeds out into our colander. Just get right in there. Scoop those guys out of there. Now you'll see all that uh, stringy flesh and stuff. We're gonna get a little bit of that in our seeds, but that's no worries, because we're gonna rinse that out in a little bit here. So we'll get all those, all those little treasures out of there. Get it all scooped out, all right. Then we're gonna have to take, you can see there's a little bit of string in here. So we're gonna rinse these out real quick and um, get them ready to start drying. Now that we've got our seeds all cleaned up here, we got them all rinsed, we got the little bits of uh, squash and stuff out of there, we got them nice and clean. We're gonna put them out on something to dry. I got this screen right here that we're gonna use. It's got nice size holes, um, small enough the seeds won't fall through, but big enough to get a good airflow. It's gonna speed up our dry time, get these seeds ready to go. Uh, if you don't have a screen like this at home, that's okay. You could use a window screen or a calendar like this, or you could even use a paper plate if you need to. So you can get your seeds out there to dry, some more some nice airflow. Um, I'm gonna say maybe seven to 10 days it's gonna to take to get your seeds dry. You wanna make sure they're good and dry before you package them away. Once you think they look dry, just wait a couple more days. Then you can package them up, put them in some envelopes or mason jars or however you like to store your seeds and they are gonna be ready to go. That's just how easy it is to save seeds from your squash. Thank <laughs> you. 